study from the University of Cincinnati shows there are safety concerns surrounding an FDA-approved COVID treatment. WCPO 9 News reporter Jazz Miner is live now to explain what this could mean for you and how the study could impact the pandemic. Good morning. Well, good morning, guys. Yeah, it's called remdesivir, and it's the only current FDA-approved COVID-19 treatment. However, UC professor and pharmaceutical scientist Bing Fang Yang tells me that the problem arises if a patient is taking that treatment and is already on other medications. So, for example, if you are taking medications for cancer and you go in and you take this treatment, there could be problems that arise. The professor tells me they found that remdesivir permanently stops the activity of an enzyme called CES2, which is found in the intestine, liver, and kidney and is needed for the breakdown of many medications. So uh, what does this mean? This breakdown means remdesivir can cause drugs fighting off antivirals such as HIV, AIDS, or hepatitis C to not work properly and increase the toxicity for heart medications and anti-cancer drugs. He says that usually doctors will have a chance to ask patients what medications they are already on to avoid any complications with treatment. However, with hospitals overwhelmed due to surges of COVID-19 cases, patients may not get to have that conversation, which means taking precautions is of critical importance. It does not take a rocket scientist to figure out. If you are staying apart, you are not getting it. Hospitals are overwhelmed. You know, they do not really think about this in. But we know, though actually, hopefully, eventually we'll have better therapy. We can identify who should receive remdesivir, who should not. Well, if you are already on medications, uh, and the professor added on that if you are already on medications and you do catch COVID-19 and you're going into a doctor for treatment, you need to be sure to have that conversation with them beforehand to make sure that everything is okay. I'm reporting live, Jasmine Minor, WCPO 9 News.